Summer is winding down, but the fish are still biting. Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith shows us what to use to lure in a big catch in this week's edition of Fox 10 Outdoors. On my recent trip out of Dolphin Island with Captain Steve Lindsay, we targeted bigger trout with live croakers. We drifted these frisky bait fish behind the boat, allowing them to float out naturally with the tide. Captain Steve hooked up on this nice trout later in the morning. It didn't take me long to get on one as well. It's fixing to happen now. Getting a little, little double going on here. We got way too many rods out. Got some serious trout action going on here. Oh, oh, look at that four pounder coming in. Three pounder anyway. And I've got one on too. So we've got a little double going on here. Throwing these croakers out here. And uh, these are some real quality trout we're catching here in early September. Here we go. Here comes number two. Woo! Larger baits can attract the interest of many species. Towards the end of the trip, Captain Steve hooked up on something really big. I don't know if you're going to be able to stop that bad boy. He's starting to look like a red. I say it's a jack craval. We may have to run him down. Yeah, you're going to have to big motor him. This fish was taking out a lot of line very quickly. I helped Steve by driving the boat to help keep up with the fish. Things got really tricky during the 15 minute fight as the jack took us between the bridge pilings. Where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? Hopefully he'll decide to go out in the, in the bay. Oh, look at that bad boy right there, boys. Woo! <laughs> Light tackle, baby, the captain of skills. <laughs> that was a team effort. Big Jack Craval right here out off the of Dolphin Island. These fish are pretty common around here. Yeah, they get in that shallow water and eat the mullet and all the big baits at school up. And, and eating your croakers and too. Two <laughs> like tackle to pieces. Check out that big old boy. For Fox 10 Outdoors, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith.